Grade 5 math number 26, decimals to thousands. Thousandths is the next place value to the right of hundredths. One thousandth is one hundredth divided by ten. One hundredth divided by ten equals one thousandth. If we look at a place value chart, here's our tens and our ones and our decimal point. One tenth would be written as point one. It's a decimal point and then the one. One hundredth would be point zero one and thousandths would be point zero zero one. As we move to the left, we multiply by ten and get ten times bigger or more. As we divide by ten, we get ten times smaller or less or one tenth of. If we had this bar, let's say it equal to one, okay, and I split this one into tenths, into ten little pieces, so that this little guy right here was one tenth, this little guy, all right, that's one tenth. Now, if I split this little box into ten pieces, ten little tiny pieces, can you imagine how tiny they would be if I split this box into ten pieces? That would be one hundredth, because it was already one tenth, and if I split it into ten pieces, this little one, it's now one hundredth of this bar, see? If I split this little tiny one hundredth of a piece into ten pieces, it would be in tinier pieces that would be one thousandth, okay? So imagine splitting this into ten pieces and then taking one of those ten pieces and splitting it into ten pieces and having one of those tiny, tiny pieces, that's one thousandth. That's how tiny it is, okay? So, there are a hundred cubes on this flat. Can you see them? Can you see all the little square cubes? If, so there's a hundred on here. Now, if we took one little cube, like this little corner cube right here, and we split it into ten pieces, one of those tiny pieces would be one thousandth. Because already one piece is one one hundredth of this whole flat. So if I split this tiny corner one, cube into ten pieces, it would become one thousandth of this flat, okay? So just as each place value increases times ten going to the left, one times ten is ten, ten times ten is a hundred, a hundred times ten is a thousand. See how it increases times ten as we go to the left? Well, it de decreases as we divide by ten and go to the right. Each time we divide by 10, it gets smaller. A thousand divided by 10 is a hundred. A hundred divided by 10 is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1 divided by 10 is a tenth. That would be the next smallest one. One tenth divided by 10 would be a hundredth. One hundredth divided by 10 would be one thousandth. See? So, for our place values, every time we multiply by 10, we get bigger. And every time we divide by 10, we get smaller. See? 10 times 10, doing the multiply one, is 100. We go from 10 to 100. See? Because we multiplied by 10. But if we had 100 and we divided it by 10, we would get smaller and go to 10. Just as with decimals. If we had 1 tenth, which is written as 0.1, and we divided it by 10, we would go to the next place value hundredths. See? It becomes 0 0.01, which is hundredths. If I had hundredths and I divided it by 10, I become thousandths. See? So, dividing, multiplying, dividing, multiplying. See it? So you multiply by 10 to get 10 times as much or 10 times more, and the fishy swims that way, and you divide by 10 and become one-tenth of or you divide it into a less or smaller pieces by going this way and dividing it by 10, okay? So take, let's take a look at this chart. It wants us to take these decimals and write which would be 10 times as much, you know, 10 times more, or 1 tenth of. So 0 0.04 is 4 hundredths. 10 times, it's 10 times as much as what number? Well, 
What number is this 10 times bigger than? It's 10 times bigger than 4 one thousandths. See? So we added another zero and moved the decimal point over. Okay? This 4 hundredths, written like this, is one tenth of what? So it's saying what number got divided into 10 that became that? 4 tenths. See? Here's 2 tenths. 2 tenths is 10 times more than what? 2 tenths is 10 times more than 2 hundredths. And it's 1 tenth of a 2. See? 8 hundredths is 10 times more than 8 thousandths, but it's only 1 tenth of 8 tenths. 5 hundredths, written like this, over 5 over 100, is 10 times more than 5 thousandths, but it's only 1 tenth of 5 tenths. So do you see how it's gaining or losing the, the zero by the decimal point? If this one is more than it, then this one is then this one has got one less zero than this one. See that? The smaller one has another zero. The bigger one has, a, has one less zero than that one. See? This one's bigger. This one's smaller. This one's in the middle. See? This one's smaller, so it's got another zero. This one's bigger, so it doesn't have a zero or a decimal at all because we were already up against the edge of the decimal. See that? So to find the one that's smaller than this one, we add another zero. See that? And to find the one that's next bigger than it, we take away the zero. See? Isn't that something? So remember, if you want to get 10 times as much, you multiply. If you want to find out what's 10 times or 1 tenth, you know, 10 times less or 1 tenth of, we divide. Okay? So if you want, if you're at 1 tenth and you want to go the next smaller place value this way, you divide by 10 and you get 1 one hundredth. See? I know it can sound confusing. We're going to talk about this a lot. So by the end of doing this entire unit on decimals, you will completely understand. So any confusion you have right now, don't worry. Just follow along the best you can. You'll be okay. You can do this. So many millions of people have done it before you. We'll just go nice and easy and slow, and we'll explain it, and you'll be fine. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.